Okay, as soon as the limit hit, of course, it started up. Anyway, you should get a screen like this. It should say Nandy Tool V 0.3. All you want to do is go to Load Elf and hit X. It should work, you should install it, and then after that, I would go check the firmware. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to go through that again. Anyway, after you do that, you hook it back up to your computer, then you hit 2, go through the same process, only this time, when you put it in, you're just going to get a black screen. It's extremely weird, and I just hit, like, I hit X, square, circle, and triangle, and then it did something random and turned off by itself. And then I went and checked the firmware, and it was updated, so I don't really care, as long as it worked. Then you want to hit 5, and go through the same process again, and install that. That one works normally. Then, I'm going to show you how to put games on your PSP. Very easy, not that hard. I'll include the Super Nintendo emulator with games and but for the Super Nintendo games you want to go to romulation.com or dot net R O M U L A T I O N dot N E T and just sign up, it's it's free and you get any game you want except for or any of the old game that you want. PSP games, you're going to want to get a Rapid Share account. Believe me, it's worth it. You can get any PC game and any PSP, Xbox 360 if it's modded, Wii game if it's modded. And I don't know why I do that. I don't really care. I like Xbox Live. But after you go through all that, you're going to want to. it up okay. after you do all that you should put your normal battery back in start up normally go over to system settings and down to system info and it should say 3.90 M332 Then after that, if you want to put games on, you can download them from phaseddl.com. AVG, if you have it, it'll tell you don't go into it. They just don't want you to get free crap. I've never had a problem with this website. Then in the search bar, type in PSP. Not the very top, the one in the kind of middle. It'll say search, use net for files, don't use that. It'll also say locate three fast downloads from full releases, don't use that either. Because if you want to even test it, type in anything random up in the search bar right here. And it'll come up as what you typed in right here. They're just trying to get you to download viruses. Anyway, download a game after you have rapid share. You should come up with another thing like this. Just hit OK. I personally like Metal Gear Solid Portal Ops. So I think it's a great game. You want to download all the parts. And then you want 7-Zip or WinRAR. They both work, right? Then if you need to, put in this password. And then you pretty much get the full game. It's not really free considering you're paying for it. 
but it's just really cheap for rapid share. Then after you do that, go to your, well, you should probably turn your PSP in USB mode, and then go to your PSP. You should have a file called ISO, and what that is is when you extract anything that you get off of rapid share, you get a bunch of parts. Once you bring those in an archive and extract it, you will get one file dot, and it'll be like, for me, it'd be metal.cso or ISO. What you do is you put those in the ISO folder, and then it, like, works. It's really weird. And I'll show you how to set your PSP up for that to work, too. But you'll get a little folder. Usually it's at the top. It'll say ISO. After you download the game, I have a bunch of them, or a little bit of them right now. You just copy and paste. Don't do anything else. Just put it in the ISO folder. Then you gotta wait for it. It doesn't take that long, but, you know. Three minutes and thirty seconds remaining, but was Windows now? Two minutes forty five seconds. Well, since I just want to keep it at two parts, I'm going to cancel it, but you just let that. Complete completely. You let it go in the ISO folder. And that way you do is you go to your PSP. You turn it off completely. Just completely turn it off. Of course I dropped it again. But you completely turn it off. And then when you turn it on, you hold down the R trigger. You should get a little boot menu like this be red. Go down to configuration. So that's over. Go down to it. Battery popped out. Hold on. Go down to config duration. Then go down to game folder homebrew. It should say 3.90 kernel. Just hit X and it'll go to 1.5 kernel. Go down to to USB mode or UMD mode, sorry. I should say currently uh, normal UMD required. Hit X till it goes to Sony NP9660. No UMD, it should say that. Don't touch anything else unless you really, really, really know what you're doing, because anyway, if you ever have a game lag out or start lagging really badly, go down to CPU speed, go to speed in UMD slash ISO, and I found currently 222 is the best. After that, you should just exit. Then we'll restart. And you'll be able to play homebrew emulators. Obviously, since I canceled it, it didn't do it completely, but it does work. And if you want me to prove it, I'll make another video.